Things are getting crazy as hell, y'all. Secret Service boss lady here. She said the she said the roof was too sloped. Uh, the Secret Service boss, she let us know why there was nobody on the roof at the time when this happened. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be considered there that we would want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and didn't the other guys, like, didn't the team that actually, like, neutralized him, weren't they on a more sloped roof? And so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. Them slopes will get you, though. I mean, they, they, they can. No, I was actually reading my book right back here about the deadliest slope attacks. And I have to say that I do. I, I, I concur. Here's a video of the snipers that were behind Trump on the day that it happened. Obviously, you can see that this man has something in his sights across the way in the exact direction of the other building with a slightly less sloped roof that was too dangerous to have any Secret Service on. You can clearly see that this building has a much deeper slope on it. Now, this is a sl what we call in the in the professional business uh, a slopey slope. Now, if for no other reason, there are plenty, wow. there are many, don't get me wrong, but if for no other reason that this woman should step down from the position that she has, which is the leader of the USSS, it's because she doesn't believe that they have the capability to place somebody on a slightly sloped roof. Now, I guess the slight... That is crazy as hell slightly sloped roof makes sense when you have these kind of people that are your dei hires for the secret service that can't even holster a gun they might have some trouble walking on something that looks like this a former secret service agent was questioning why trump was even allowed on the stage he said why the rush why push him on stage why not delay it would have taken nothing to take a tactical pause assess the situation locate him and potentially prevent what we haven't seen in 40 three years. Whoa. Thomas Crooks was perceived by the Secret Service as a person of interest after law enforcement saw him acting suspiciously hours before everything. This took place for hours leading up to Trump going up on stage. Unreal. Age. Crooks was only identified as a threat when he retrieved a weapon. <laughs> okay. It wasn't the fact that he had Whoa. a rangefinder and, and was scoping the distance. So the Secret Service were standing around like, hey, hey do you do you remember that guy that I showed you earlier? The, the one that... You think he was trying to figure out if he needed a pitching wedge or a nine iron? Oh my god, that is crazy as hell. Let's keep going. The, the, the range finder and was scoping out the exact distance from where President Trump's going to be standing to that slightly sloped roof over there. Yeah, the same guy that was flying the, the drone in the presidential restricted area. Yeah, the guy with the, the, the rifle in the, in the scope. Do you think he's up to something? Nah. Although the police officers aren't completely off the hook here because they confronted Crooks on the roof and he pointed his weapon at one of them who then dropped off the roof. But Secret Service... That dude said, oh, hell no. Chris did try to blame everything on law enforcement. In fact, the report came out saying that local law enforcement says the Secret Service is throwing them under the bus. That's crazy. All local, it's just, it's their fault? Hell no. That's your job. That's literally the, your job is to make sure that even if local law enforcement has some kind of catastrophic thing happen, you're there to make sure it doesn't turn anything crazy. That is unreal. Y'all, make sure you like the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Follow for more true crime. I'll catch you on the next one.